Once again, another round of championship fixtures to predict. We are up to game week 28 of the 2022-23 EFL Championship season. We begin on Friday night, where there's actually two games kicking off on the, the Friday night, but starting off with the Sheffield United against Hull City game. Sheffield United doing really well, currently second place in the league just behind Burnley. They've gone on an absolute amazing run, just like Burnley, and that's how they see themselves in the automatic spots. Sheffield United, good victory last time out, a 3-1 victory over Stoke City. Their opponents, Hull City, they're not doing too bad for themselves as well. They're currently in 16th place. They've gone on a pretty you know, decent run, I suppose you could say, as of late. No defeats in there. Four draws and two wins in their last six games. Uh... Hull City did draw 1-1 against Huddersfield Town in their last game. But I do think that this is going to end in a defeat for the away side. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to the Blades in this game. Coincidentally, Sheffield United did win this one 2-0 in the first half of the season in the reversed fixture. Um, and I think, they'll, I, think, I, think, I think they'll repeat the scoreline in this one. So 2-0 to Sheffield United. Next up is Burnley against West Bromwich Albion. This one is going to be a very good one. Burnley in first place, as we, we already know, doing absolutely superb. Only the two defeats so far out of the 27 games that they have played. They've, they've won 17 and you know, fully deserved first place. Their opponents, West Bromwich Albion, Currently in sixth place after they have climbed so much and you know they've, they're not stopping here. They're, they're going to continue. In this game, as I said, it will be a very good one to see how this plays out. Two teams on some really good form going at each other. But Burnley, home side in this one, great form. I'm just going to edge it to them. Close one, low scorer for me, but a 1-0 narrow victory to Burnley in this one. And then we'll move on to Coventry City against Norwich City. Norwich, their first game under charge of David Wagner in victory for the Canaries, beating Preston 4-0 in their last game. Coventry City did lose in their last game. 1-0 defeat against Burnley. Close one in that one. Um, yeah, I, I think I think... I think Coventry will lose this one as well against the Norwich side. High on confidence after that victory. I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory to Norwich City in this one, which was actually the scoreline in the reverse fixture uh, when uh, when these two sides faced in the first half of the season. Uh, we'll move over now to the St. Andrews Stadium, where it is Birmingham City taking on Preston North End. Both sides in need of a win. As I mentioned, Preston... Losing 4-0 to Norwich in their last game. Birmingham City, four defeats on the bounce for them. A 4-2 defeat against Bristol City in their last game. Uh, I'm going to go for a close victory to Preston North End in this one. I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 scoreline. We seem to be very good away from home. We pick up most of our wins there. And... Well, you know, we've we've got a very good defence away from home as well. So everything suddenly improves when we're away from home. It's really weird the the, the home and away form for us this season. Um, of course, Birmingham City are struggling as well, and you know, I just feel like this game can be there for the taking. And you know, I, I think I think we'll be able to do it. It was actually a one 0 victory to Birmingham in the game earlier on in the season when they came to Deepdale but as I said our home form compared to our away form you know it's it is a big difference and um and so far this season we have you know done the opposite of what we did to a team um in the first half of the season all the games that we won in the first half we've we've lost so far and all the all the games that we did lose we've actually beat next up is a Blackpool against Huddersfield Town both of these sides in the relegation zone, Blackpool in 23rd, Huddersfield in 22nd. This could be big for both sides. They need to pick up a win here. And depending on the Cardiff City results, they could swap places with them and leave the relegation zone. I'm going to go for a victory for Huddersfield in this one. I'm going to back both sides to score. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Huddersfield Town victory. It was a 1-0 victory to Blackpool in the game earlier on in the season between these two clubs. But 
Blackpool's form as of late, it has you know not been the not been the best at all. Two 0 defeat to Watford in their last game. Huddersfield Town, they did get a one one draw against Hull City. I just feel like Huddersfield Town's form just a little bit better than Blackpool's at the moment, and I think this will just give them the edge in this game here. So two one away victory for Huddersfield. Next up is Bristol City against Blackburn Rovers, and we we say. The exact same thing every time. Blackburn Rovers still yet to pick up a draw this season. 27 games in. Either wins or defeats. 14 wins, 13 defeats. And still they see themselves in that top six spot in fifth place. They do need to get their skates on though and pick up a few more victories than they are doing at the moment. Otherwise, we will see them dropping down a few more places. I think they'll be able to get a victory in this game. Bristol City, they did well. They scored four goals in their last game against Birmingham City in the 4-2 victory. But I'm going to back both sides to score. But I just think Blackburn Rovers are just going to wedge this one 2-1. Next up is Cardiff City against Millwall. Where Millwall doing pretty well. Currently in 8th place. Cardiff City in 21st. Millwall have not picked up a victory against Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium since 2005. So for that, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Cardiff City, as of late, they've picked up quite a lot of draws. So I think that this one will end in a draw. 1-1 here. Next up, Queen's Park Rangers against Swansea City. Mid-table clash. Swansea beating Sunderland 3-1 in their last game. QPR, they got a 2-2 draw against Reading. This one's going to be a tight one. I'm going to go for a draw in this one. I'm going to go for another 1-1. Um, really could be anyone's game though, this one. We'll move on to Stoke against Reading. Stoke City, three defeats in their last three. 3-1 three, defeat against Sheffield United in their last game. Reading, as I just mentioned, above a 2-2 draw with QPR in their last game. Stoke at home, they are due a win and I feel like this is the game where they are going to pick up all three points. They haven't been the greatest as of late, neither really of Reading, but I'm going to go for a close 1-0 victory to the Potters in this one. Uh, I just feel like they'll just be able to edge it in this game. Home side, due a win. Should be, it should be a Stokes game, this one. Next up, Watford against Rotherham United. Rotherham United... Big win in their last game, a 4-0 victory over Blackburn Rovers after the horrible form they did have prior to that game. You know, they just absolutely battered a top six playoff side, which in the championship, anything is possible, to be honest. But I am fancying Watford to pick up all three points in this one. Currently in third place, I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to Watford in this game. And then... We'll move over now to the final two games of this game week with Wigan Athletic against Luton Town. Wigan Athletic have certainly not been the greatest side. They are currently actually 24th place, rock bottom of the league table against the Luton Town side in ninth place. They did lose out to West Brom in their last game in that 3 to defeat at Kenilworth Road. But I'm going to go for a surprise result in this one. I think Wigan will be able to pick up all three points. I will back both sides to score. I'm going to go for a 2-1 victory to Wigan. Uh, this actually was the scoreline in the reversed fixture earlier on in the season. And uh, I, think, I think they'll be able to do it again. And they do manage to find a goal as well this Wigan side. So, you know, it's not out of the question. I think there could be a shock result here, so that's going to be my prediction 2-1 to Wigan. And then we'll finish off with Sunderland against Middlesbrough. This one will be another good one, although Middlesbrough's form currently in fourth place. Another side that went almost from bottom of the table to the playoff zone, currently in fourth place. Sunderland in tenth. It'll be a good game, but I am just going to say Middlesbrough will pick up all three points. They are currently on a really good run of form. It was a 1-0 victory to Middlesbrough in the reverse fixture. Um, and I think they'll be able to do the double over Sunderland this season. And that wraps up my Game Week 28 score predictions. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And I will see you all in my next 
video.